guys. All right, today I'm gonna make nachos because my Patriots are playing, and this is how you prepare for a Patriots game. This is how you prepare for a win. <laughs> anyway, I'm making Slappy Joe nachos today. So, what you will need? Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna show you. All right. So you need well. It depends on what you like to use. I don't cook with ground beef. We only cook with ground turkey. So I have the three pounds because my family is big, but you can do according to your family. Um, the tomatoes are for like a garnish on top. Barbecue sauce because I layer it with the ground turkey, barbecue sauce, and tomatoes. Um, sour cream is a garnish as well. Uh, jalapeno is a garnish. Of course, the kids don't eat that, so I don't put that on top, but your own personal plate you can. Um, I use the finely shredded because for the nachos, it just seems to melt much faster. And then sloppy joe packets. That is everything. Well, not everything. Um, I use two bags of this, like I said, because my family is really, really big. So, but maybe your family is smaller and you can use only one. Um, and then I make one bag of these for one, and then the other bag is the other. Of course, I also preheat the oven to 350 um, once everything is layered this only needs to be in the oven until the cheese melts that is it that is it all right guys next you're going to well I use adobo onion powder and garlic powder mix it I do season it because ground turkey when you use ground turkey you have to really really season it because it will be very bland all right guys so this is what it looks like I just browned the meat uh, ground turkey chops up a lot more finer than ground beef does so this will be plenty enough for the two trays all right, and next you're just going to add this and stir it until it gets all around. Um, I just put one packet. Um, normally, if you're making shop, slop, sh 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 sloppy joes, um, for one package, I think it's one pound. But I do it three pounds to one packet because I don't want it to really be like a you know, sloppy joe, but very similar. Like, I don't want it to have too much of a sloppy joe taste. All right, and this is about as much barbecue sauce that I put in. Not too much. I don't have exact measurements because this recipe is just something I just made. Um, but it's so super good. So that's the barbecue, and then I'm gonna mix that, and then it'll be ready to then top on the nachos, and you'll see me layer it. All right, so this is what it looks like after I added the sloppy joe mix and the barbecue sauce. And this is what I did. Uh, I put the chips down first, some of the meat, and a little barbecue sauce. And then you're gonna just sprinkle, and you're gonna make two layers of this. All right guys, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Again, you're only leaving it in there long enough for the cheese to melt. Mmm, yummy. Alright, finished product, guys. Tomatoes, jalapenos, and a dollop of daisy. Uh, <laughs> Alright, sour cream. Yeah, I know what I mean.